What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills, and welcome back to another one of my FIFA Ultimate Team videos. Today, it's the boy Drugba. It's the, today's the insane beast, the Chelsea machine, the Chelsea legend. We are back, and I'm going to let you know how I feel about him, everything I loved about him, everything I hated about him, and this one I really had to get out. This was one I had to get out. I attempted him. I tried him this weekend league, and I wanted to get this video out because with Icon Swaps, I believe you can get one of his versions. I, I might be his, his middle version, not the baby. I'm going to be using the baby today, which comes with 88 pace and 87 shooting. It has good dribbling, okay passing. Now, I want you to remember that when I reviewed this card, I was reviewing him. I was playing with him with Mbappe, with Ronaldo with insane cards around him. So the way I'm reviewing him is much different than if you're gonna be running a Rashford beside him, a Sonaldo beside him, you know, a Zaha beside him. Because if you are gonna unlock him with an icon swap, and I believe you can get him, I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but if you can get him with an icon swap and you're thinking about doing it that way, then I really wanna tell you how I feel about him in general. Now, I know that certain players are different, right? If you get the baby, sometimes the baby's better than the, the middle and the middle's better. But a lot of times, you can really feel how the card is, and you can kind of go based off that no matter what version you get. Like, all of Azebu's versions are good. All of Kenny versions are good. All, you know, th There's not really one where you're like, unless their work rates change massively, or their pace is a crazy difference, which 85 to 88 is not that much of a difference. That's the only, like, that's the only time you're gonna be like, whoa, but it, there's not really times where you know what I mean? If the card is close in stats, they're kind of the same. So smash a big old thumbs up if you are excited for this video. You want to know what I think about this beast and you want me to do more player reviews. What a cheesy goal. More player reviews on cards that you're thinking about potentially getting. The biggest part of why I have a main account, my mega team is for me moments like this. To grab cards that I want to show you guys that are, that are somewhat, you know, in a price range that are expensive. So people don't know if they want to use it. But then you guys do have a million sitting around. So you'd want to buy somebody for a million. Now, buying him for a million is one of those moves where, you know, you're, you're on the fence. Do I go Mbappe? Do I go Drogba? Do I go, you know, there's a lot of good cards for a million coins. You might be thinking an icon. And if you're thinking an icon, is Drogba worth those coins? I really enjoyed him, man. I, I actually was extremely surprised by what he offered for me. Now, I played him from, like, I think it was game 8-0 and o to, like, somewhere, like, maybe, like, 17-0 and o or something like that. And the only reason I dropped him, and this is me being 100% honest with you, if you watched my video where I went 28-2 and two and we should have got, got top 100, but if you watched that video where I talked about, you know, the weekend league, um, you know that I went to a 4-4-2, um, and I actually talked about it in my poor man yesterday. If you missed that video, go check it out. But I went to a 4-4-2, and I kind of started playing a 4-4-2 uh, formation. Now, playing a 4-4-2 would mean that Drogba is no longer a striker. He would have to go to left mid or right mid. And 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 that's when things started to become a little bit tricky for me. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to sell him. Um, unfortunately, because I wanted to actually keep him around. There's no way that I'm gonna I'm gonna move Ronaldo back to left mid or right mid over Drugba. It's not gonna happen. And neither Mbappe. It's just not gonna happen. Because the one thing that's 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 the most important thing in FIFA when it comes to strikers, especially with the way that center backs can catch up to anyone, their catch up mechanic is just broken in FIFA. Like there's no way when Ronaldo breaks a back line, anyone should catch him, especially with the pace that's shows on his card. Same thing with Messi, same thing with like Mbappe, but center backs still catch up. So the most important stat when it comes to strikers is kind of pace, man. And I know a lot of people are like, well, my Lewandowski goes ham. Yeah, Lewandowski's gonna score a lot of goals for you and Drogba's gonna score a stupid amount of goals for you. But the problem is the pace, right? And that's the only reason I moved Drogba backwards because I was like, yo, bro, the pace is just, you're not gonna, if I keep you up top, there's no way, like putting Ronaldo outside for you to be up top, I'm losing a lot of pace. So I kept Ronaldo up top um, and that and, and that's when Drogba had to go back to left mid. And at that point I was like, okay, you know what? He's not really gonna fit the team. So that's the only reason he left. Because if it wasn't for that, if I could play him at a right left mid or right mid position or even a cam left uh, uh, outside cam position at 4 2 3 1, he definitely would have stayed around. If I stayed in the 4 1 2 and 2, there was no chance this guy was leaving. When I reviewed him or when I played with him, I was playing him in a 4 1 2 and 2. And I got this card more to try for me than, than to review. If I stayed 4 1 2 and 2 narrow, Drugba would have never left my team. Mbappe cam, Ronaldo striker, Drugba striker. That's how I actually played him. Right, was him at a striker position. His strength, unbelievable. His shot, next level. His pace, good enough. I don't like, I'm telling you, I don't like the high, high work rates on strikers and stuff. That stuff is so annoying, bro. I just wish he was like a high medium or a high low and he just stayed up top and didn't want to run backwards. But Drogba was like that in his career, man. Playing for Chelsea, if you guys remember him, he used to run all over the field. He was everywhere, man. Run back, help the midfield. He was he was a good, good player, man. Um, he had crazy work rates. So, um, 
you can see, man, he's in the box a lot. Sometimes he's outside the box. And it, the one thing I just want you to do is stay up top and wait for the finishes, man, especially in the weekend league. And that's why I always do my reviewing of players and trying players because um, especially when it comes to, like, the big players, right? For me, the most important thing is to try them in the mode that matters the most. And the mode that matters the most to all of us, most of us, is weekend league. So I really want to give my boy DDA a try in, 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 in the weekend league to let you guys know, you know, is he really worth your coins or not? And, again, strength, amazing, pace, good enough um shooting out of this world so i liked him i really really liked him and i'm telling you the only reason i replaced him was because he was gonna have to move out of that position and that's the only reason i didn't want to keep him because i didn't want to play him left mid imagine him at left mid like I, as a high high actually that would be okay because high high he'll run up and down the field a lot but he's too much of a big body because you got to remember he's a big body striker He's a big body striker. He's like a Ronaldo. He's like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, uh, I don't want to say like a Von Boston or something like that because that's not even close to Ronaldo's level. But um, I do think for a low tier icon, and when I say low tier, because we're talking a million coins for it, maybe that's not, is that a low tier icon, a million coins? It's maybe a mid, a mid icon. It's not like, you know, the Zebu is two mil, the Pele is a two mil. So if you're looking for an icon because you need chemistries to link up and Mbappe doesn't fit your team and you got a million coins, I think he's a good shout, man. I don't really see, I can't really tell you anything wrong with this card. Um, he scored a, a lot of goals and more importantly for me, and this is where his high, high work rates came into play. He, he, he supplied a lot of goals. He was definitely supplying more than he was scoring. And that's gonna happen when you're playing with Mbappe and Ronaldo, you know? You guys are Don behind you and Hullet. You have so many big cards around you that he's assisting more than he's actually, you know, finishing. Um, so that's one thing as well. Remember that, that most teams, aren't going to have the players I have. And I'm not saying that in a cocky way. It's just there's not a lot of people that are stupid enough to waste this much money on the game. Um, so I have a crazy, crazy dumb team with Zidane and Hula and all these crazy players. Um, so when you have all these crazy players around you, you're not going to see one guy shine that much unless you're a Ronaldo or a card like Mbappe or Messi. Um, and, but Drug was up there, man. He was definitely very, very, very... He surprised me. He surprised me a lot because the biggest thing that I... I got so much like negative... Like I heard so much negative about him that was like, there's no way this card's going to be good. But I'm really trying to think back of to what I didn't like, and I actually can't give you nothing. Look at that. I mean, I can't I can't really give you nothing that I hated about him. I can't I want to, but I don't the high high that he ran backwards. I I liked him. I liked him, bro. He didn't feel heavy. He felt quick. Good shot. Left foot, right foot were good. Didn't really matter what foot. He was alright with it. Um you know, maybe if I had a full 30 games with him and maybe if I would have given him the full 30, I maybe I should have, bro, because, look, yo, you know what? I was undefeated when I had him. Um, but you see him here taking on defenders, shielding off the ball, holding up the ball, loses the ball, unfortunately. But it goes back to Hullin and we're able to create plays here just like that. But he was he was definitely a beast. He's really good with the shielding, too. That's one thing I really like about him. The le You know how you can shield with, like, left trigger or whatever like that? Or left, what is the L2 on PlayStation? Left trigger on Xbox? Is it or is it right? I forget. It's one of them. It's one of the back ones. Um, but, you know, the shielding up, man, he has that strength to be able to shield up and hold up nicely. So I liked him, bro. And you know, I have nothing negative to say. Just like Zidane, the Zidane review when I brought in Zidane, I still have Zidane. I didn't let Zidane go. I like Zidane a lot as well. I like Didi a lot as well. And the, who did I replace him with when I sold him? Who did I finish with? I think King Kenny. Did I bring back King Kenny? I don't even remember who I brought back, bro. It could have been King Kenny. Dude, who did I bring back? I actually can't remember who I brought back. I know it was like one of those like, you know, small, uh, agile type of players. I might have brought back King Kenny, to be honest with you, to finish up. I can't. I legitimately cannot remember who I brought back to save my life. But um, I brought back an icon, and it might have been King Kenny. I don't remember. But see right here, 4 2 3 one and Bappe hull it across the middle. And then I had Drugba outside. And, and it's, it's weird because you're like, whoa, you're playing Zidane as CDM. I actually really like Zidane playing that role because he has a good pass out he's a medium medium he kind of just he kind of just hounded that midfield for me so he would win the ball back and hull it is able to do so much going forward in the height i would keep him in the middle and then he could help deep like it would kind of locked up the defense really nice um so when i did go four two three one but then that left my man Doug by outside on the wing and again bro like fantastic player but as a winger i mean Look at this, man. He's assisting like a boss. He gets assists. As a winger, you just you don't want to see him out there. I don't think that's where you want to play him. So if you're looking for a traditional number nine finisher, this is your guy. I think I think you can get a lot out of him, man. You could definitely get a lot, especially if you're looking for someone to link up with Mbappe and you can't afford Ronaldo yet. Like I said, man, he definitely created many opportunities for this team. He never hurt us. I never lost with him. I felt like he gave me opportunities to win games. I felt like it's kind of like Thierry Henry, right? On my poor man road to glory, he was somebody that like, 
He made sure he helped me clean up the mess. He helped me clean up dirty games, games that were sticky, games that were heavy, games that, you know, I felt like my player were in mud. He was there helping me clean up. He makes great runs as well, man. Look at those runs, bro. I know it's a tap in, but you got to make the run. You got to create that tap in. He makes great runs. So I have nothing negative to say, man. Chelsea fans, you could be happy today, boys. I, I, I like them, man. I like them a lot. I got nothing negative to say. If y'all thinking about maybe using a foot swap on him or icon swap if he is available. Now, again, this is his baby, not his medium, but I feel like there won't be too much of a difference. Look at the nice little one-two right here. One more time with Ronaldo. Finding space, getting open, having an opportunity to let one rip, and I do that on his left. So there you go. I could have swept that back into Ronaldo, but I want to try his left foot. You see a man assisting. You see him passing well. You see the speed. You see the burst of him breaking defenders. You see the one-twos clean with Cristiano. So a lot of good things came out of this, this Drogba card, man. I, I, again, you know what I'm saying? It's hard, for me to, it's hard for me to give you a bad review on him because I felt like he was pretty darn good throughout the weekend league for me. And again... You know, I, I, maybe I'm wrong with it, but I, I, I had a blast playing with this card, man. Um, and then he's going to score one more time. I actually forced a rage quit with him here. Going to get a cheeky steal with Zidane. Look at that, man. That's what Zidane just does. Great stuff. Actually, maybe I don't get it. Do I get it? I don't remember. I, I don't I remember. Oh, yeah. I wait up for him. This kind of a cheesy one, but I waited up. Saw he was making a good run. You saw how quick he was from back to front. Got the finish. And that's how we we uh, we did with DDA, man. Couple little... Couple little Didier, couple little little clips there for you guys. Couple rage quits. Couple good games, man. I had a lot of fun with him again, man. Remember what I'm telling you guys. He's an expensive card. Um, is he the craziest card in the world? Uh, no. Um, is there better cards for a million? Obviously, Mbappe is cheaper than a million. Neymar is cheaper than a million, I believe. Ronaldo and Messi above a million. Um, but for if you can get him for for free in a swap, or you can even get him around low million, under a million. If he does dip under a million. I think he's a really, really, really good shout, man. I think he's a fantastic shout. I had a lot of fun with him. Like I said, not many negative things I can do. If there's any icons you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below, man, because I play Weekend League on that account simply for that, to try cards for you guys. That's all that accounts for. I don't really care for anything else. I want to get top 100 on the poor man road to glory if that's possible. On this account, I just want to be trying cards. I tried Zidane all weekend league, and he's still on my team. That's how you know I like him. Um, the most, man. Hull, it's amazing. If there's a baby Rio, that's a card, man. Baby Rio is a card, man. Matter of fact, I got a special cheeky little series coming, and, and I'm doing the same thing, bro. I'm, I, I think I'm going to go ham to make sure I get that baby Rio on that account. If I, you know what I'm saying, if things go well. So with that being said, that is the review on Drugba. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that big old thumbs up. Hey, make sure to subscribe, man. We are getting close to 2 million subscribers. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. And if you guys are watching Champions League football today, just want to say, you know, good luck to your team, man. Love you guys very, very much. Thank y'all for watching. I will catch you guys back here tomorrow, same time, same place, for another video. We out. Oh, yeah.